In 2012, Crack.com made a video about how all of the Pixar movies are secretly about the apocalypse. This video sparked the conspiracy that has been circling around the internet for the past year, and it's called The Pixar Theory. The Pixar theory states that all of the Pixar movies exist within the same universe, and that both AI technology and animals grow a hatred towards humans because of their destructive actions. And all of this ultimately causes the apocalypse. We'll start with Brave. Supposedly, the reason animals and other Pixar films have human-like characteristics is because the witch from Brave has been experimenting on them. You know, like Mordu and Merida's mother. So the magic is provided by a witch who mysteriously vanishes every time she goes through a door. Does this sound familiar? Anyway, animals affected by the witch begin to interbreed, creating a large-scale population of animals that are slowly gaining personification and intelligence on their own. I'm on board so far. In Ratatouille, we see these animals further testing their abilities in small, controlled experiments. You know, by controlling a person like a giant meat marionette and cooking for a gourmet restaurant in Paris. So at the end of Ratatouille, everything turns out A-OK -okay for Remy and his friends, but what happens to Chef Skinner? He was the ultimate conspirator, so what did he do with this newfound knowledge that animals were transcending their natural instincts and performing human duties? better than humans. Well, I guess this takes us to Up. Charles Muntz hears of Chef Skinner's theories and gets the idea to begin inventing translator collars to interpret the thoughts of his dogs. And then Muntz uses this technology to find the exotic bird he's been obsessed with. Humans mistreating animals. Check. Finding Nemo also shows how animals have gained intelligence and personification, and how humans mistreat animals. You know, like when the dentist steals Nemo from his natural habitat, makes him live in a tank with other captured animals, and almost gives him to a demonic child. Eh. Back to Up. At the beginning of the film, Carl Fredrickson is forced to move out of his house because of a large corporation. And if you remember, b and is a company that ended up polluting the Earth and Wally. -E. Wally -E is essentially a movie about how humans are terrible, but specifically how easily we give into technology. Well, where have we seen out of control AI technology before? Oh right, The Incredibles. Syndrome uses a similar advanced technology to create what is essentially a superhero genocide. And you thought Pixar made charming family films. Syndrome creates the Omnidroid, an AI kill bot that learns the move of every superhuman and adapts. When Mr. Incredible is first introduced to the machine, Mirage mentions that the technology has gained too much intelligence and is now rogue. Hmm, everything seems to be fitting in quite nicely, but you're probably thinking, where does Toy Story come in? Well, according to the theory, throughout the Toy Story trilogy, these toys are getting used and discarded by their owners. This, of course, is no problem for our heroes, but other toys like Lotso and the Prospector seek revenge. I Yes, sentient toys are somehow considered AI technology that humans are abusing and some have chosen to rebel. Eh. We then arrive at cars. That's a car pun. So, technology rises and the Industrial Revolution has created too much pollution, which makes the Earth unfit for humans, another reason why they had to leave in Wally. -E. During the credits of Wally, -E, the humans return to Earth and begin restoring the environment. This is supposedly where a bug's life fits in. Which means Wally's -E, cockroach and Flick could have possibly been friends? I'm just trying to find some positivity here. Fine, okay. Last, but definitely not least, is Monsters, Inc. So while the humans were orbiting Earth and Wally, -E, a new species was born. A species that goes to college and creates any energy companies. You guessed it. Monsters. So, the monsters have an energy crisis which is supplied by humans via what the theory says are time traveling doors. Yeah, okay. But what about Boo? She remembers the doors are the key to how she found Sully in the first place. And in an attempt to find him again, she starts traveling through these doors and begins creating animals with human-like characteristics when she can't find him. And I guess this can all be proved with the Sully wood carving found in the witch's cabin. The Pixar theory has a pretty rough timeline. There's no real chronological order. So to start debunking the Pixar theory, here's my opinion of the Pixar movie timeline. Brave comes first because it takes place in the Dark Ages. The Incredibles takes place in the 1960s, but in an alternate universe. And this has been confirmed by director Brad Bird. Toy Story 1 and 2 take place in modern day, which we can consider 1995 and 1999. Toy Story 3 is also modern day, but it's about 11 years after Toy Story 2, so this is about 2010. Some claim to have seen Boo in daycare with Bonnie, so Toy Story 3 and Monsters, Inc. must have happened around the same time. But it has been confirmed by director Leon Critch that this wasn't Boo. 
up is in modern day. There were some theories that this had to take place after Toy Story 3 because you can see a postcard from Carl and Ellie in Andy's room. But this could be from years ago because Carl and Ellie were definitely kids around the 1930s and 40s, so it can't be much later than Toy Story 3. Ratatouille, modern day Paris. Finding Nemo, modern day Australia. Wally is in the distant future. But clues in the movie tell us that it takes place in 2805. Cars, is an entirely different universe. Monsters Inc. could be happening in the future, but I always believe it took place in modern times just in an alternate universe because they never specifically time travel in the movie. So let's start to break this theory down by its own timeline. Brave and Ratatouille? Makes sense. It's possible that the witch improved her skills enough so that these human-animal hybrids didn't regress into their animal states like what happened with Mordu and Meredith's mother. It's also possible that Charles Muntz had heard of Chef Skinner's series because Muntz is well-traveled and we're unsure of how long exactly he's been testing on these dogs. Finding Nemo is the one that doesn't really fit in. It makes sense that the animals dislike the humans because they're disturbing their environment. But even though the fish talk to birds, they never communicate with humans. So this can't prove the theory that animals are becoming more intelligent than humans. And Toy Story is so haphazardly wedged in the theory that I'm not even going to delve into it. So the theory is all plausible again until cars. The theory just doesn't specify where these cars came from or how they live. What I thought was maybe while the humans were still on Earth, they began experimenting with this AI technology in cars. And maybe when they left, the cars evolved? But the humans and Wally were only gone 800 years, which is not enough time for an entire car species to evolve, live, and then completely disappear along with the monster's ink species. So, how much of the Pixar theory was intentional? Pixar has been known for placing Easter eggs in its movies, but it's unlikely they planned for all of this while they're making the films because some of these arguments connect to films that weren't even in the making yet and they were made by different people. But is it actually plausible? Okay, I'll admit it, some parts of this theory are tighter than others. The technology behind the doors in Monsters, Inc. is vague enough that a time-traveling element is entirely possible, which also makes the backstory of the witch from Brave probable. But seriously, nothing else connects. So in conclusion, on the plausibility meter, I give the Pixar theory a one. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Cartoon Conspiracies. Make sure you subscribe to Channel Frederator to stay tuned for the next episode.